Hello YouTube, this is Kenneth91619 and today um, I got a quick gameplay here with my 1390 in uh, World of Tanks and I'm just going to show you a quick strategy of how to um, use this tank on the battlefield um, which I found most effective and um, we'll be playing Mountain Pass on standard battle here and we got a couple of E100s here as you can see so First thing to note when you're um, right before you start the battle is uh, make a quick plan and tell your teammates what to do if no one else does the same. And take a look at the tanks on the enemy team. Um, see if they have any fast tanks. Um, the reason why you want to check this is to see if um, they got like another 1390, a 1375, a T52, a Chaffee, any of the light tanks that are very quick. Um, usually they're going to come to your base and kill your arty. So, best thing to do is hang back and protect the audio for a couple, for like a minute or two. And uh, since this match we don't have any light tanks besides the bat chat on the enemy team, and chances are it's not going to be rushing us since we have three U100s, it's going to have to cooperate or risk losing the match from the get go. So, me and this bat chat take lead here, and we're going to do some spotting for our team. We want to know exactly where that mouse is and where all those where that TD is. So we see we out right off the bat we got T54 and a Lorraine over to the left flank here. Um, I'm just gonna ignore them. I'm just spotting. I'm gonna let the other 1375 and the bat chat do their work. Me and the T uh, T62A, my bad. Uh, we're gonna be heading over to the to the right flank to see if we can spot any of the uh, tier tens over here. And so far, nothing. I'm a little scared here. I might get shot by that TD and get killed in one hit. So we got an ISA, pretty good. We can make, we can uh, coordinate our team and tell them to move up forward. Tell the E100s to move up. Um, the more ground you have, the better. That way, you have uh, ground to retreat on the way back. Now, um, 1390. It's obviously very quick, and every time you engage an enemy. You want to make sure after you empty your canister and you fired all your six shots and you're doing your very long reload, you want to you want to retreat. Um, there's no point in hanging back unless you can fool the enemy into thinking you still have a couple rounds left if they if they haven't counted how many shots you fired. Um, and that's how, that's what I usually do when I'm not playing my 1390 and, and I'm up against other 1390s in um, anyone in any of my other tanks. I always count the shots. So, um, yeah, that's a key to note. So, right here is where I get into a pickle. Um, most of the tanks um, are on the uh, right flank, I believe. No, no, yeah, the right flank. And I make a mistake here of trying to back up this bat chat without thinking there might be a couple tanks across the bridge. I go ahead and I engage the bat chat um, rather closely. And I end up getting hit by, I believe, a T-52. Actually, no. I actually, no, I get hit by... No, I get hit by, by the T-62A. Okay, so I end up getting hit by a Russian tier 10 uh, medium tank here. And a T-62A. Okay, so I end up getting hit by a Russian tier 10 uh, medium tank here. And I end up dying, unfortunately. But if it wasn't for... <laughs> That small detail that I forgot to remember, I wouldn't have died, and I could have actually come over and helped my fellow teammates on the right flank. Um, they're actually going to go over and uh, take out that T-62A and that bat chat over up on the bridge here. That would have pulled out just a little longer. I could have killed them, and I would have crossed the bridge, possibly taken out the arty at their base. But always remember guys, uh, key points, before the match starts, you want to tell your teammates um, what's the game plan, what are you going to do, um, you got to tell them, you can be like, hey, I'm going to go seek out Artie, I'm going to hang back at base for a minute or two, then I'm going to go seek out Artie, that way your teammates know what you're doing and you can actually have support from a couple of your teammates and or if the Artie, and or if um, the Arties are up to helping you uh, take out enemy Artie when you go spot them at their base. Uh, second key point, you want to... Uh, make sure you take a look at the enemy tanks and what you're up against. If you got a bunch of tier 10 like E100s on their team, 
you don't want to do a lot of spotting just because if you come around the corner and you spot five E100s, chances are you're not going to just walk away without a scratch. You're probably going to get, get up, you know, end up getting destroyed. So in a situation like that, you want to hang back and uh, play, uh, you know, play support because that's technically what all the all the the French branch, basically all the French tanks are uh, support tanks just because they're thinly armored and you know working from tier 8 and up for the heavies you got auto loaders so you're gonna have to have a really long reload you don't want to go head first into a battle you want to be supporting the E100 you want to be supporting uh, your other teammates so you know you don't want to you want to survive as long as you can because you know French French line tanks have a tendency to have a short life expectancy on the battlefield and you want to prove the enemy wrong so that's uh, my word of advice guys and that's what I've got from the game for my 1390 I'll be making another video with my E75 and hopefully by then I'll have my E100 and I'll get a chance to play around with it for a little bit um, and I can show you a little bit of that anyways um, you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys again um, and I can show you a little bit of that anyways um, you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys again